Hey Stalkers, this is Evan from Stalk Music Musician, and today I want to show you how you can pursue your passion in making music by using Reason as a plugin in other DAWs. Now that Reason 11 has been released, it is available for use in every DAW out there aside from Logic and Propeller Heads or Reason Studio says it will be available in Logic in the near future. So I don't know much about uh, Ableton Live, which is what I'm using here today, but I know a lot about Reason. I've been running a channel for years on it. I've been using it since like 2003. And so what I wanna show you today is three tips on how you can unlock the full power of Reason as a plugin in your DAW. And if you wanna learn more about Reason, if you're new to it or if you're getting started, I've got a free Reason cheat sheet. You can click the link down below to download it. It gives you an overview of all the most important features for each effect, each device, each instrument, all the players, all of that. So go down, click that, and if you wanna learn more about Reason, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so what I've done here, the first tip I wanna give you is that you can use Reason as a plugin on top of your existing instruments that come with your DAW or with third-party VSTs. So uh, first you would select your regular instrument and then you would select the Reason Rack extension or the Rack plugin effect as opposed to just the regular uh, Rack plugin. So it's the effect version. So this is what, this, what it sounds like without the Reason effect on. And now let's turn the Reason effect on. I've just got an echo on here. Let's turn that up a little more strongly. And the great thing about Reason is then I can put another effect behind it, but this is basically a full on effect rack. So you can put multiple effects inside of this. So let's now use a scream, which is a really good distortion tone shaping tool, one of the best tools in Reason. Um, let's turn that distortion up a little bit. That's a nice sound to me. So you can create these custom effects, but let's say you don't like the sound of delay into distortion. Well, you can reorder them by holding down shift, and then you've got this rack here, right, which is the order of the cables. So now it's going distortion into at de delay. And uh, let's say that's by holding down shift, you redo the order automatically, it recables this. But if you don't hold down shift, you see um, the order stays the same, but these are just draggable. So you have the main input instead going to the screen and the output from the screen going to the main input here. Let's be sure to turn on the IO and then we'll have the main output going back in. And let's talk about, now this is my second main point for getting the most out of Reason, that it loves to play with itself. <laughs> I'm sure that's something a, a lot of you out there can uh, sympathize with. But um, a lot of the utilities, for example, specifically the Pulsar Dual LFO, what this does is it creates LFOs, which are basically a shape that can be used to automate features in other effects. So if we flip it over, this is the shape right now. It's a sine wave and this is the speed. This light kind of shows you what's going on and this is the intensity of it. We can send this to control, for example, the delay time. So you hear that glitch out? Wow. 
Well, that's because it's controlling the delay time there. Or we can have it control, modulate the parameters on this distortion, for example. Um, let's go with the warp. And let's set this at a lower position so that it can actually be going back and forth. And let's pump up the... And if we were to turn this, you know, um, if we were to shape, mess with the shape, for example, you hear it, you hear it pulsing like that. So reason plays really well with itself, but it also is playing really well with these other sounds that are built into Ableton. And so the third thing I have to say is, you know, you want to mess around with internal racks in Reason, but you can also layer multiple effects. So what we're going to do is we'll make another Reason plugin. Okay, so we'll make another Reason plugin effect. We'll drag it here. So now we've got two Reason plugins in a row and separate racks, but the reason I want to do that is because you can also put in, like, a Ableton effect in the middle, for example. The best of all worlds. So I hope these three tips were helpful. First, that you can use Reason as an effect, not just as an instrument. Two, that you need to be really aware of using the cables, flipping it around, having all sorts of internal modulation sources. And third, that you can actually layer it with effects in other DAWs. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe for more Reason tips. And also be sure to get that free cheat sheet if you're new to Reason and trying to figure out what's going on. Thanks.